Good morning. Most of you know me as Tim Rose, Senior Vice President of Foods, Sundries, and Fresh Foods. However, I'm also a former warehouse manager and therefore aware of the many diverse responsibilities required of this position. Costco has experienced rapid growth and expansion over the years, which has created even greater demand. Food safety and sanitation has become a huge issue within the industry, which is not taken lightly. One unsatisfactory health department inspection can result in a building being shut down. Other potential consequences are negative media attention, tarnished reputation, and loss of sales. The specific purpose of the food safety inspection visits is for training opportunities and to support the locations. Let's take a look at a recent news report that warrants this concern. This is CBS 2 News at 11. CBS 2's Kristen Cole exposes the unsanitary conditions of some of our area's most popular wholesalers in tonight's Eat at Your Own Risk. Speak. It's Carolyn. Two health inspectors came through. They were overheard at the food court. Calm down. What do you know? They're coming back for a full inspection tomorrow. Should be a problem. Our everyday standards at Costco routinely exceed their expectations. You don't understand. They red flagged us. You stay where you are. They'll contact you. Who? Is that what I think it is? Exactly. Got him. CS3, CS3 at 01. Repeat, 01. This is not a drill. Whatever you're doing, drop it. We've got a live one. Heard it on the scanner. I'm on my way. That's affirmative. Costco FSI team on the job, moving into position. Fox in the hen house! Fox in the hen house! Hi, my name is Carolyn Hagemeyer, and I'm the warehouse manager at 01 Seattle. And this is my assistant manager, Craig Wilson. Oh, it's, an, it's an honor, sir. I've read all your papers. So this is it, the first of her kind. Is he always like this? No, not at all. This is the first time I've seen him smile in weeks. I've got flashlights for everyone. Thanks, but we brought our own. Don't move, it's all around us. Sorry, I had pizza for lunch. Let's get one thing straight. Food safety is no joking matter. Parasites, bacteria, microorganisms. They're an invasion force trying to kill everything that we hold sacred. I'm sorry, I got it. Costco is all about the standards and those standards are high. For example, SSOPs, Sanitation Standard Operating Procedures. I don't know what you've heard about us, I don't care. We've just got a job to do. We're all on the same team. It's not personal, it's business. Let's do it, come on guys. Operations proceeding as planned, all levels normal, on the way to checkpoint one. Carolyn, as a warehouse manager, you're our last line of defense for foodborne hazards. How do you think you're doing? Oh, she's doing great. You've got him trained. That's a start. Ready? Uh-huh. You see this? See what? My point exactly. Notice where we are? On the floor. Where are you? What's wrong with this picture? We need to get down on the floor and inspect. Exactly. Cockroaches, rats, and bugs love to play hide and seek. Dust mites are not going to come to you. You have to go to them. Bag it and tag it. I'll send this out to the lab. We have a go in sample transport. Good, no good. What's wrong now? Carolyn, uh, you're doing a great job. It's just that we've got a lot to cover before morning. Time to split up. Let's do it. What do you want? You've got ice. 
You get critters. How did I know? Darwin, most likely. Temperature drop. Tour shifting to foods area. The air vent. One of my favorite places. Uh-huh. Just what I suspected. Having a little party down there? This is going to the lab, pronto. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Let me guess what happened. Craig, come here. We need to do something about this bird problem. OK. No violence in the workplace. They should have called their pest elimination company. Working with food's a never-ending battle. Keep it hot, keep it cold, keep it clean, or don't keep it at all. First in, first out. When in doubt, throw it out. Things are starting to mount here, so I better go check in with the lab. So you go on up with Mario and I'll catch up. Okay. Subjects in sight of pallets. I knew it. What? I smell a rat. They could be nesting under pallets or under the receiving plates. But one thing for certain, they know we're here. I don't understand. We use bait and traps. Right idea, wrong execution. You can have the best bait, but if it's not properly stored or disposed of, it's a hazard. No matter what the crime scene, there's always something left behind. Hey, Christine, any luck with those samples? Luck? You don't need luck, Shelley. We're in the research and fact-finding business. Luck doesn't have anything to do with it. What did you find? Um, the usual. Foodborne hazards can come in all shapes and sizes. They can be physical, chemical, or biological. As a matter of fact, here's a great physical hazard that came in just this morning. Wood chip in a can of green beans. From farm to fork, food can encounter, gosh, almost anything. But it's really the biggest hazard of all that does the most damage. What's that? Human beings. You know, there's a right way and a wrong way to do everything, and it's clearly defined. SSOPs. Speaking of which, did you remember to check the SSOP logs in the foods areas to make sure that they were properly filled out? Oh, shoot, I forgot. <laughs> See what I mean? Human beings. You know the proper technique for washing your hands? Rinse hands with warm water, apply soap, scrub for 20 seconds, focusing between the fingers and under the nails. Wash the wrist, rinse, and dry with single-use disposable towels. Not so hard, wash your hands before putting on gloves or after the restroom. Buckle up, we're about to enter housekeeping phase, people. How's it going at the lab? Uh, the jury's still out. How are your critters? Ask them yourself. What do we have here? Gee whiz, all we are is dust in the wind. But members, employees are touching this, rubbing it on their clothes, worse. At least we'll have fingerprint evidence. Not if they're wearing gloves. Is it so difficult to wipe down these dusty areas? I think not. Anyone can do it. But not just anyone could do this. Famous Costco meat department. Highest standards in the industry. But it's only as good as its worst health hazard. How's that drain look? Swabbing for harmful listeria buildup. If it's here, Christine will find it. Moving to final phase. Nothing ever happens at our cooler. That's what they all say. No egg fights in the cooler, huh? Then what's that? I think it's insulation. I'm afraid the yolk's on you. Craig. I'll clean it up. It could be one egg missing or ten. Damage and destroy. So what's the damage? 
Well, the dust balls under the palette were highly charged, but they're not toxic. Still potential pest bait and nesting. Ooh, I'm impressed. Somebody's been doing their homework. What about the mold from the air vent? Ugh, nasty stuff. Potentially deadly. At the very least, it indicates poor sanitation standards. Copy that. Any determination on the cooler controversy? <laughs> you mean the debate about which came first, the insulation or the egg? Definitely the egg. On their faces when Carolyn finds them. The drain sample was inconclusive. It's a potential listeria problem, but it's a no-go at this point in time. Dodged a bullet, but they gotta keep it clean. Anything else? For you, Shelly, I saved the best for last. I matched the weapon to your fatality, and it belongs to an employee. I know what he's having for dinner. I'd guess a little rotisserie crow with a side of fava beans. So what's the final outcome? Well, the results of our examinations do show that there was a decline in sanitation standards. I was afraid of that. Well, however, it also proves that they were trying, they just weren't doing it on a consistent basis. Bottom line. O1 was at risk with potential hazards on the rise, but FSI intervention was in time, and I think by morning we'd supersede any health department inspection. Well done. It was a team effort. Scores? Got it. You can breathe now, Craig. The lab's giving you an all clear. Case is closed. But it's up to your team to carry out the mission. We won't let you down. Keep it clean. When it comes to sanitation? Remember your SSOPs. Keep it hot, keep it cold, keep it clean, or don't keep it at all. First in, first out, when in doubt? Throw it out. Our work is done here. But if you ever need us for anything at all, we know who to call. We'd like to point out that at BJ's Wholesale Club in West Nyack, the store that sold the E. coli contaminated ground beef, health inspectors found three critical health code violations just last week, including an accumulation of old dried meat on equipment. In written statements provided by Sam's Club and Costco Wholesale, both companies say food safety is a top priority. For more information and to find out if a store near you had critical violations in the last year, log on to our website, cbsnewyork.com. I'm Kirsten Cole, CBS 2 News. As you can see, we all have the responsibility to protect our members and make certain that our warehouses are in compliance. The information compiled for this news story was based solely on inspections results pulled from the internet. It's critical that managers who are in need of assistance do not hesitate to utilize this food safety group as resources. Crisis averted. So that's it? All clear, sir. We're on alert status. Whenever you need us, we're standing by. Any questions? Rookies.